full of visitors eager to watch the Sparky Show. And this summer, the zoo has a brand new Sparky. <laughs> They're hoping to make the Sparky Show even bigger in the future, and Lindsey Brown explains. Melanie, we are approaching the next season of Sparky. What goes into preparing for it? Oh, we do a lot of practicing. You know, we have to make sure that uh, Sparky is comfortable on the stage. We don't want her to be scared of anything. We need to make sure that she's used to the music and the noise and the people and all the activity that goes on. This is Subi. She'll make her debut performance as Como Zoo's seventh and latest Sparky on Memorial Day. And she is busy preparing. Subi, sir. Can you wave? She can wave hello. Good. Easily bounce balls on her nose, hooped, and impressively jump through a hula hoop. Good job. This is a big triumph for Subi, whose flipper was injured in the wild, but you would never know. <coughs> the zoo hopes to soon make the Sparky show and exhibit even better for viewers and for the animals. They're asking the Minnesota State Legislature for $14.5 million this session to build a new facility for the seals and sea lions. Having the, the pool and the show be one big exhibit, they could be outside all year round, and uh, she wouldn't have to go from a show pool to a different pool. She could just live in the same space and, and stay where she is. They're very social, so they would like to all be together. Um, it'll be out, outside year round, so our visitors will get to see the animals outside. There'll be salt water, which is what the animals need. Jam. And as you can see, Subi knows Good. she's the star of the show. Lindsey Brown, 5 Eyewitness News. Last fish. <laughs> and KSTP does have a big connection to the Sparky Show. Hubbard Broadcasting founder Stanley E. Hubbard brought the show to Como Zoo after he saw the traveling show and was determined to have it here in Minnesota. You can watch the Sparky Show from Memorial Day through Labor Day. And don't forget,